and stuff. I'm gonna put a Cause we're gonna be putting them in our box. Can you guys show us how we're gonna put it in the game? Yeah. Can you guys show us real quick? Yeah, whoever wins this round gets to keep the game. Oh, no, no. We're, not, we're not doing any, any ball matches. So we're just gonna tuck it in. Hannah has a sh 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 uh, smaller um, washcloth. And Kai kind of has like a Japanese hand towel. It's a little bit longer to give a little bit, some kind of an advantage. You gotta be quick, right? Get in and get out. Okay? You gotta stay on your feet. Go. Come watch. Control his hands. Auto. So look, kind of grab his wrist. Like, grab his hands. Okay? Don't let him get to your hands. Can we do it faster? Yeah, let's do it again. All right, well, we're going to get started here. One last round and we're going to get started. Ready? Kumbach! What? Whoa! Well, it's all practice. Everything's practice. No, but this is like a practice, practice round. Practice of the practice? Yes. Yeah. Well. All right, let's get started, huh? Ready? Okay. Well, I need you to get in there so I can see if it's in there. Okay. I need you to hold this. The light on the lights on. Hey, stop, stop lighting, guys. The light on your phone? Yeah, the light on my phone is on for some reason. There it is. It's off. I don't know if it needs to be off. Alright, let's get started. We're gonna have to somehow. If you go any farther forward than that, you won't be in this one like your, color your eyebrows up aren't in the video right there. Changes the Okay. Is that or do you want me to move no. back just a little bit? Can you scoot that back? Can you pull it back? play a game so at least two towels I have kind of a short hand towel here and then our washcloth I guess and then another one which is kind of a longer uh, towel um, we'll be using those we'll be using these today so we have that for a game break uh, safety area make sure you guys have a safe area seven feet by seven feet at least sharp edges hard corners cover those with a blanket or a towel it's really important Let's, let's keep safety first. Today I'm gonna use, uh, like, we you say focus a lot, you know? Uh, we're gonna change it up a little bit. You can use, still use the word focus, you know? Whoever's the coach, whoever's helping, use the word focus, but let's use, uh, let's think about um, not just focus, like maybe refocus, right? Or reset, or uh, rethink. It's a time to rethink how we do things. Um, so, you know, reset is kind of the word that I'm gonna be using today. Uh, I think it's just kind of a good reminder to take a breath. Like, let's reset. Okay, take a big breath in. Guys, reset. Right? Take a big breath. When we hear the word reset, let's take a take a big breath. Right? And just reset. Refocus our body. Uh, rethink about what we're doing. All right? Um, let's see. Thursday. Thursday, we're going to have a Zoom birthday party for Javen. Javen's turning 18. Yay, Coach Javen. Believe it or not, he's not even 18 yet. Um, so he's going to be turning 18. We're going to have a Zoom party. I don't have a time set up yet. It's going to be a surprise party, so don't tell him. Uh, we'll just kind of be all set up and online, and uh, he'll log in, and boom, we'll surprise him with a, with a little happy birthday. Might even have some candles to blow out. Who knows? And uh, the schedule. Please check our uh, schedule on our website. We're, we're adding some online classes, some times to, to train, um, some conditioning classes, some technique, some studies. Uh, so please check the class on our website. That's the best way to figure out like what time things are being offered. So far we've been using Zoom and Facebook Live. So uh, just kind of keep, keep in touch with that. 
Um, let's get started with the pair card. Here's our pair card today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's use up. Masterpiece. Sonia says it's hard to hear. It's hard to hear. I'll speak even louder. I don't know if the microphone is in, something's wrong with the microphone. Maybe you want to take the case off. Can you take the case off? You're going to have to unplug it. Oh, and then, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. I think I need to get off of Wi Fi. Ah! Are we back on? I think we're still on here. How's that better? Is it better, Sonia? Let me plug it back in. Maybe take it off too. Take the... Is it any better, you guys? Uh, some mic problems. It's better now. Oh, it's better? All right, cool. Yeah, I think the, when we're on Wi-Fi, it doesn't work as well. Make each day your masterpiece. That was today's, that's today's pair card. Um, what does that mean? Think about it. What does that mean to me? You know, it means each day is an opportunity to, to, uh, be great. Each day is an opportunity to practice, right? Each day is an opportunity to, uh, at the end of the day, say, you know, I learned something. To say, I help someone. Uh, to say what you're thankful for. Um, that's that's what it means to me. Make each day your masterpiece. Um, you know, masterpieces. I think the, the the thing about masterpieces are they're not always perfect, right? Even though people look at them and they're like, "Wow, that's a beautiful painting," or you know, when I see when I think of masterpiece, that's a beautiful sculpture or something. But um, you know, this person who's making the masterpiece, it's always incomplete. There's always something, one more thing to do. Um, but I think maybe being okay with that and and appreciating appreciating it for the art that it is 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 also maybe a part of part of that too all right but let's get warmed up guys uh if classes are too long for you um don't worry don't worry about doing everything okay if you need to pause it to pause it to stop and just watch um stop it and watch and then maybe revisit the class the next day do a little bit of the warm-ups listen to the think about the pair cards and then revisit the class these classes are kind of a two-in-one you know ideally we're doing these uh in between uh, each class as well so you know the Friday class take the time on Saturday or Sunday to practice um, and hopefully that uh, you give a chance to do that and that helps helps with retention uh, but if they're too long it's okay just break it up um, have fun today Friday is a kind of a fun Friday we're gonna play a bunch of games we're gonna learn some new things but uh, mostly today is gonna be focused on playing some games uh, and having fun awesome let's get started all right guys you ready to warm up Hope you guys, you guys got some towels. Let's get warmed up, okay? Let's do our arms. Yeah, face, face them out. Let's face them out. Arms forward, backwards. Circle your hips. Big breath in. Reset. Circle your knees. Squat down. Nice and squat. Oh, I'm really sore. I did a bunch of squats yesterday and burpees. Okay, good. Left, right leg out. You guys, you guys are, you guys are, you guys are being, uh, you guys are being coaches right now. Okay, so think about how you're being. Reset. All right. Other leg out. Good. Let's go back and forth. Just kind of moving back and forth. Yep. Get low on your squat, doing forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards, up on your toes. You need to move your hands a little bit. Yep, up on your feet, flat on your toes. Yep, nice, awesome. Okay, let's do some judo flip push ups. Feet out wide. Ready, down. One. Count, let's count. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. 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 Good. Up on your feet is meant 
10 squats as fast as you can. forward steps okay we're going to do step one two step all right so we're going to drop and then one two now the key is that you move as fast as you can you stop as fast as you excuse me you stop as fast as you can move you guys understand all right so watch me once a drop one two all right Yep, and the key is to not move up and down. Don't move sideways, just go straight like an arrow. Ready? Get set, and drop. One, two, good. Looking out the top of your eyebrows. Drop, one, two, stay low. Drop, one, two, hands up. Okay, let's practice our fakes. How do you practice your fakes? Um, you guys remember? Yeah, good. So take a step forward, take a step back. Nice. Good. Good. So let's do it from our from our stance. Shake, shake, shake. Drop. Fake. Back. I bet you could do it like that. Ready? Drop. Fake and then an attack. Ready? Drop. Fake. Go back. Last one. Drop. Fake. Back. Okay, now we're going to combine. Okay? They're going to drop to your stance. They're going to fake. And then when you fake, they attack. So how are you going to block them? Down block, right? Down block and then back in your stance. We don't want to hang out on a down block. So like this, I think. Oh, they go and attack. I down block, and then I get back. Ready? And drop. Fake. Yeah. And then back to your stance. Good. Move as fast as you can. Ready? Everything all together. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. Tail. The fox tail. You get to be sly fox. 
Hana gets to be Sly Panda. No, I get to be a donkey. Oh, donkey. All right, sure. If you want to be a donkey. What? <laughs> no, no, don't touch your tail. Don't yeah. be a dog. You're a fox. All right, so the goal, right? Right? The goal, I don't have a tail, but that's okay. The goal is to get. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we're using our down blocks. Yeah, good. You can fake, fake. You got to stay on the mat, though. Okay? You got to stay in your area, so really be mindful of your area. Right? Even if you get yours taken, that's okay. Right? We'll just reset and go. So we'll just go for a couple rounds here, just having fun. Use your down blocks to block. Okay, Ty, come in, try and get, pretend like I have a tail. Right? Block their hands, too. Oh! Okay, so you can block the hands. You can block, oops, sorry. You can block the down block at the shoulders like we've been this practicing way too. too long. Ready? Yeah. Okay, guys gotta stay in the middle here. Okay, gotta stay in the middle more. Ready? Shake hands. And come march. Get out. Move, 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 how to move. Paro. Reset. Ready? Ah, so you can't just block it, right? You gotta attack, right? So think about, sometimes we get too defensive, right? Especially the younger person. We get super defensive and we forget about attacking. Sometimes, uh, sometimes if you're like Ty, you get super offensive and you forget about defending. But usually the bigger person ends up being the attacker and the younger person ends up being the defender. Right? Uh, try to notice that and see if you can change that. So Ty, you're gonna get a handicap, okay? Yeah, you have a handicap, okay? You can only use one hand. Okay? And Hana gets to use two hands. So we're just trying to think of some handicaps here. Hey, stay close, you gotta stay close, right? The game doesn't happen unless you guys are able to touch each other. Ready, Kobach! Are you the referee? No. No, I'm the referee. Okay, okay. ready? Come back. Move, gotta move, gotta move. Hey. All right, good. Okay, so now we're gonna add another handicap. Okay, because, well, she needs a handicap. Okay, Ty is not allowed to use both hands. Take a break. Have a breather. Okay. Take 
Okay, come over here and Hannah will do class for you. Mama? Mama, take out the side. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, sometimes accidents happen. Sorry about that. Okay, next one. Next game. We're going to play uh, toe, toe, toe games. Okay? No, no, no. Okay, so this is more of a footwork game, right? And we're just trying to uh, touch the toes, right, with our feet, right? So if I can stomp her toe, then I win, okay? Ready? Don't stomp that too hard. Ready? So yeah. she's trying to step on my toe. I'm trying to step on her toe, okay? Don't Here's the trick, though. We have to keep our hands holding, right? So we can't get too far from each other. Ready? Yeah. Come watch. Exercises, squats. One, Ten, two, as fast as you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, let's do lunges. So one leg is forward, one leg is back. Hannah, can you face that way? Yep, one leg is forward, and then just putting drop, bring your knee down, bend your knee down. Look my look at my knee. My knee's going down towards the mat right here. I'm just gonna do three on each side. Three, and switch. This one's pretty hard if you're younger. Good. Let's do judo push ups. Feet wide, hands in the middle. Down. One. Two. Down. 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 Five. Alright. Good. Back up. Okay. Round two toe touches. Ready? Go. Oh. change how we hold our hands so one person gets the two on one on Wednesday we practice the two on one so we reach across and we grab the wrist hold on tight and then with the other hand we grab the elbow okay so one person gets to have the two on one right I don't have my other hand right I'm just trying to stop she's trying to stop ready hold me down see if you can pull them down all right so you run out of jump back in yeah here, I'm gonna practice the tie real quick. Have a seat. So the tie has the two on one, right? So we reach across, grab the wrist, and don't pull the arm to your chest, right? We're just doing a two on one where we're holding with our hands, right? One hand at the wrist, one hand at the elbow. Is it better? Okay, and then we're trying to touch the feet. Ready, go, go. This is a race. This is a race. Go, 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 go. This is a race. 
guys, go. As many as you can. 15 seconds left. Go, 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 go. Try going the other way. Meet frog, go. Other way, other way, other way, go. Go, 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 go. Meet frog over. And time. How many Five. was that, Ty? Five. Five. Okay, Ty starts. Oh, you're down. Other person gets set. Okay. Guys, you can use, uh, hey, stop for a second. If you don't have a partner, you can use just kind of a big, maybe a couple, um, couple, a sack, uh, a bag, a, sack, a bag uh, maybe a couple pillows stacked on top of each other. All right, ready, Ty? Or maybe the same person goes again twice. Ty, you gotta stay off your knees, though. Yeah, Hannah, you gotta stay. So stop for a second. You don't want your hands, your head on the mat touching when you're in the turtle. So keep, nope, stay up here. Push with your hands, your forms. Yep, keep your head tucked in. Like a front foot. Yep, there you go. Okay, Ty, stay off your knees. Ready, as fast as you can, 30 seconds, go! You gotta stay on it. Go, 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 run! Go, 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 go! Do it right, do it right, don't just do it fast, do it right. Keep your feet back, keep your feet back. Circle, set your hands. 15 seconds left, 15 seconds left. Last one. No, you got five seconds more, five more seconds. That was super sloppy, oh, right? Yeah. So every time you do it, reset yourself, right? Don't just myself. think about going fast, right? That's not what we're doing. We want to hustle, but hustle doesn't mean going fast. Hustle means you're, you're thinking about the technique. Hustle means there's some focus involved, right? If we're just going fast and we're not thinking about our technique and there's no focus, right? That's not hustle, right? That's just going fast, right? So you try it on me this time, okay? okay? Hannah, you watch for us, okay. all right? So when we go behind, let's think, let's review real quick, all right? Block my arm with both hands. Get your other hand over there, yeah. No, no. the other hand should be blocking. So go back, slow down so I can talk. Both hands are blocking, block, block. Now circle, yep, and then leave frog over. That's it, okay? So really think about blocking with both hands. Ready, go, 30 seconds. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Use your focus when you hustle. Use your focus when you hustle. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Focus. Reset. Reset every round and focus. Ten seconds left. Go, 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 go. Time. That last one was kind of sloppy. Oh, I okay? hurt my toe. Ouch. Okay. Maybe you should be wearing your shoes. Wrestling shoes. Okay. And last, uh, last two. Before we go uh, to using some arm bars, okay? We've been practicing the arm bars. Um, we're going to just practice our wall techniques. If you have a couch, we can use a couch. Um, if you have something that's kind of heavy, the anchors down to the ground that you can stick your toes on, we can do that. So let's show us first. First, our hands go up against the wall. Can you show us? Yep, hands go up against the wall. We're gonna bring our feet up to touch the wall, and then we're gonna spin off of the wall there. Nice, keep going, good. Yeah. If your hands are too close, it might be kind of difficult, so really push yourself, get your arms straight. Yep. Get your toes anchored into the wall. Get your feet into the wall. Yep, and then circle. Yep. Push against the wall. Get your feet all the way up by your head. Get your feet against the wall all the way up by your head. Okay. Second one. Oh, I did a double. That was good. Okay. So second one, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna reach for the wall, right? When I reach for the wall, I keep my head tucked in. I keep my shoulders close to my knee, right? As I reach for the wall, and then I'm gonna go up here. So I'm on my head and shoulders. My feet are on the wall, and then I spin out. And then I sit back up. And I'm gonna go back to the other side. Get your, the trick is to think about your shoulders and your knees. Get your shoulders close to your knees here. Okay. 
And if you really throw, you can just go back and forth. Alright? If that one's too difficult, or if you can't have a hard time doing the first one, like Hana, we're just going to stay with the first one. Keep going, Hana. Get your feet there. So, for Hana, her challenge is just getting her feet to the wall, and that's okay, right? Uh, being aware of what's hard and doing it. So, practice getting your feet there. Use your stomach, pull yourself in. There you go. You can use your hands too. Yep, get your feet to the wall. Now, and just practicing getting your feet up there, uh, that's, you know, that's that can be hard, hard enough. Let's watch time. Keep going, Hannah. Keep practicing. Nice. You almost got it. You got halfway. Go, 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 go. Start sitting up. Start sitting up, though. It's easier if you start sitting up, Ty. You're, laying, you're starting laying down. So start sitting up like this. That gives you a little more momentum. Yeah, you almost got it. Reach for the wall with both hands. Oh, keep going. You got it. First time. Well, actually, that was my second. Second time. Ah, you're gonna get there. You gotta get these first. Keep those feet. One foot always touching the wall. Yeah, you're just full of full of uh, box today, huh? Okay, and just bonk this head. Okay. Last one, most difficult level. Okay. Are you okay? Is not using the wall at all and just kind of leaning forward. Leaning forward, not using all, right? It helps to always keep one foot touching, touching the mat. Using the wall gives us something else to kind of grab, grab a hold of, right? Both are actually really good, good exercises, all right? Uh, so let's go, let's practice the arm bar a couple times on each side. Hannah, can I bar you? Yeah. Let's jump to the guard, collar tie, wrist control. Our tire wrist controls. Yep. Jump. Hold on. Yeah. Good. Squeeze. Good. Drop my arm. Good. Step on the hip. Turn. Other way. This way. Bring the other leg up. Bring the leg over. Finish. Tap. Good. Two times on each side. Good. Start with that guard. Other side. The arm that you have, that's the leg that steps on the hip. Yep, turn your body. Turn your head. Good. Notice how her leg comes all the way up into my armpit. Yep. Nice. Other side. Everything switches. So trap my arm. Step. Yep, keep keep the leg tight. Keep the leg tight around my body. Bring the leg up to my armpit. Good. Get your hips out. Good. So parents notice something I do that helps a little bit. This is kind of tricky. Yeah, go ahead and do it again. She has my arm trapped. Hold it tight. Hold on to it tight. Good. Step on the hip. Squeeze. Okay. She brings her leg up. Keep turning. Turn your body. I'm going to use this hand to push her hips out a little bit. Let's try and get your leg over. Get your leg over my head. Get your leg over my head. Get it all the way over. Yes. Good. Nice. Keep going. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. There we go. Good job. Oh, you got me. Okay. Good. And then we're going to go back to practicing our handstand today. Okay, so Hana, uh, make a downward dog. Down dog. So hands down, feet are, up, feet are down. And then we're just going to hold on to one leg. So bring one leg up. Yep, I'm gonna hold on to one leg, and then as much as she feels comfortable, she lifts her other leg up. Yep, and I can push them forward at their hips a little bit. Nice. Whenever they wanna come down, they can come down. You wanna do it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna switch your tie. Uh -huh. Okay, so we get one leg up. Get your, wait, get your hands. Get those arms straight. And then get those hands straight. Push in with your fingers. Yep, try to grip the, and then I'm gonna, yep, don't let me. Look through, look through towards me. Nice. Try to keep your legs free. Keep your legs free. Nice. Reset. Refocus.
focus, reset and refocus here. Super, right? And notice I just hold on to one leg and his other leg is always free. So anytime he wants to come back down, right? Uh, anytime he wants to come back down, he can come back down to the ground, right? Wow, super strong. You want to try and switch feet in the air? Yeah. In the other foot. Whoa, cool. Try to get your hips up. Yeah, come down. When you're ready, come down. This is a really, really, uh, a lot of upper body here, right? But notice how his hips are sagging forward. I want to try to get his hips up over the shoulders, right? And I feel him coming down. Just come down to the ground. Okay. Nice job. Okay. We can practice those anytime. Right? The goal is to kind of get, you know, if this is my hands, these are my, my, my hips and my knuckles. My goal is to get, you know, my knuckles right, right over the hips, right over the shoulders, right? And then the feet come up like that, All right? Let's, uh, let's read a story and we'll be done. This is super fun. All right, this one is, oh, it's called Ish. It's in cursive, Ish, I-S-H, Ish. by Peter H. Reynolds. Ramon loved to draw. Is it Ramon or Raymond? Anytime, anything, anywhere. That's like me. One day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. What's that mean? Ramon could not even answer. He just crumpled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawing look right, but they never did. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon has put his pencil down. I'm done. Marisol, is that, is that the teacher's name? Or his sister? Yeah. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Ramon sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey! Come back here with that. Ramon raced after Marisol, up the hall and into her room. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's walls. He stared at the crumpled gallery. Wow. This is one of my favorites, Marisol said, pointing. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said. But it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she ex exclaimed. Vase-ish? Ramon looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's wall and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. Ramon felt light and energized. Thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him, making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals, tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, sun-ish, it's hard to say. <laughs> sun -ish. Ramon realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peace ish, silly ish, excited ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poem ish. Huh. One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words and ish drawings could not capture. 
he decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. And Ramon lived ishfully ever after. <laughs> ishfully. That's ground oh. Awesome. Hey, thanks for being a student today. Uh, like I said uh, at the beginning of class, um, don't hesitate to break the video. Hey guys, can you guys just either play over there or be quiet? Thank you. Don't hesitate to... Um, what was I going to say? Forgot. Don't hesitate to break the video up or break the practice up into two parts. You know, do a little bit today, a little bit tomorrow. Uh, just kind of listen to how you're feeling. Um, you know, today was kind of a whiny, cranky day. It wasn't as great as yesterday, but that's that's the it's it was, the reality. That's the reality of today. Um, but that's the that's the masterpiece. It was class-ish. <laughs> it was class-ish. <laughs> uh, that's the masterpiece that we we got to draw today. So there were good things today, but you know, take the time to reflect. I think it's good to reflect every single day. You know. Uh, what are we thankful for? What did we learn today? How do we help someone? Um, and if we don't have a clear answer or an ish answer, that's okay too. Maybe that's something that we can work on for the next day. Um, I miss you guys and um, hope to keep in touch. Don't hesitate to send me a mail, uh, a message or email or anything like that. Love to see you guys um, practicing. Um, but if you just want to chat, I'm happy to chat too. Take care.